All right, so the next trap in the Survival Trapper's Bible is just a simple peg uh, wire snare. Now you can do this with you know regular rope cordage, but it has a very high chew out rate. Um, you know, really. I wouldn't even bother setting it if I didn't have wire. That's why we show you some of these more elaborate uh, trigger systems so that you can increase your overall odds of, you know, uh, you know, catching something without getting a chew out. And all you need is something to tie off to, uh, a little piece of wire, and, and I can't say enough about having some wire from the hardware store. Uh, you can do it with, with cordage, but, you know, a 100-foot roll of wire doesn't cost anything. It's not something that, you know, would get you a lot of suspicion as, as having in your kit because uh, it can have a lot of different uses. Um, so all you need is, is a few feet of it. You find yourself a little rabbit trail somewhere, make yourself a split stick, and then you're going to form that loop for the, the height and the type of animal that you're going after and then place it along the trail at the right height. It's very important, so if we're going after a rabbit, you know, like we have swamp rabbit around here and they're fairly large, we want to gauge the height of the snare based on where the animal's neck is because we want to get a neck hold because that's gonna increase our overall odds of getting a kill. With um, you know, Without a locker snare on these, it's not, uh, there's a little bit lower percentage of actually getting the animal and keeping them on with without that locker snare so that's why we want to make sure that everything is perfect if we're just setting a simple peg snare like this so the animal's gonna walk through gets his head caught in it he's gonna draw out the slack it'll tighten around and this wire will hold a fairly good sized animal and then they're going to freak out and then choke themselves out and you'll have dinner on the table. What's great about this particular type of wire is that it's reusable and very easily formable. So when the animal comes through, you know, chokes them out, and look look at about the height I've got about two to three fingers here from the ground and you know the difference between this and a modern braided snare is once you use a, a braided snare it's done you can't really use it again as, as except for maybe to lengthen the, the length of another type of snare animal walks through pulls the length out chokes himself to death now we've talked a lot about funneling with a lot of our previous trap trigger systems, but it's especially important with your simple peg snare. And the reason being is because you don't want the animal to walk around. So what we've got set up here is just a little piece of tree bark. Um, but where I, I primarily like to use this uh, type of trap is along rabbit runs. And you find like a thick grassy area with maybe a tree off to one side and there's no way to go around, maybe because there's briars or whatever. You put your, uh, your snare on there and uh, the animal is forced to walk through that snare in order to get to their food source. And you, you typically always want to trap in between the animal's shelter area and their food source. Now there's a lot of exceptions to the rules. You can actually trap their, their shelter, but I tend to have the best success in transition areas. Okay, so that was the simple peg snare. Very easy trap, takes literally two minutes to construct. Very important to you know, use simple tracking techniques and funneling techniques in order for that trap to be effective. But, um, you know, if you've got an interest in learning these skills, you know where to find us. Check out the links below for, uh, in the description for the website and, uh, you know, come check out one of our survival trapping courses in your area. Thanks.